Hey, good morning everyone. Welcome to Sober Jable. If you're liking these videos, make sure to comment. I'd love to hear what you what you think about them. Uh, also, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Hit that bell if you subscribe so that uh, you can get notification whenever I create a new video. Now, I'm a little haphazard this morning. Um, I actually just got back from the manufacturing company uh, to talk to a boss about uh, a potential new job. Um, and last night, I, um, I talked to the restaurant and told them that I was actively looking for a new job, so I wouldn't be there very much longer. I didn't give them a definitive um, answer on when I would be leaving, but I told them that the, um, the process is in the works and to, you know, expect it coming and that it could happen really quickly. Now, one thing that um, I was, I shouldn't have been shocked about, but I, I don't know, internally I was a little hurt, was when I told them that I was leaving, the manager didn't throw herself on the ground and start crying and throwing a fit. But what the heck? Aren't I important enough for you to throw yourself on the ground and, you know, kick your legs and scream and beg me to stay? I think so, but it didn't happen. It was just like, okay, well, it'll be uh, sad to see you go. <laughs> That's how my brain works. I think I'm, I'm way more important than I guess I actually am. Um, but whatever, that, that just kind of constitutes um, another reason why I need to get out of there. That. And I've noticed this in, in other instances with other people at, at this place, that the, um, the employees aren't really as, va aren't valued the way that I believe an employee should be. Should be. Um, you know, they're not given enough credit and um, they're definitely not treated as good as an employee should be treated. Uh, financially, even um, more than financially, just verbal praise and things like that. They like to, to think that they are, or think that they do, but it, 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 they, it's not. But then when I went and talked to the manager today at this uh, manufacturing company, I expected a party when I walked in saying, oh, thank God you're here, even though you have no experience and you've never done this before and yada, yada, yada. We're so glad to have you on board. I expected to be hired right away. I expected to, um, you know, uh, tell them to, whoa, slow down. You know, I want to give my job um, some notice and, and things like that. But they're like, all right, thanks for the application. Um, we'll let you know within seven days or in uh, seven to 10 days. I'm like, mm, where is all this praise that I think I should deserve or that I think I deserve? Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to give myself a pat on the back. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, it, it just kind of goes back to that, that line of thinking that I am way more important than I actually am. And the other thing that I need to practice is patience. Because when he said, um, yeah, you'll hear back. If you don't hear back from us with it by the end of uh, next week, give us a call. What? Well, I'm trying to move this stuff along like right now. So patience has never been a virtue of mine. You know, when I want it, I want it now. And um, I'm going to have to, you know, take a step back and understand that I'm not in control of of other people's actions or line of thinking. So I'm gonna have to take a breather. I've got a lot of other plates that I'm juggling. Um, I went through the, um, the mock interview for, uh, for the ESL job and I passed that, so that's good. Um, I just have to, <clears throat> I've submitted the paperwork for my background check. So that's going through. Um, and now I'm taking this like online course for uh, through, I think it's TESOL, which uh, shows you about um, English as a second language and how kids uh, adapt it and how the brain functions. Functions. It's pretty interesting, 
but that'll help me uh, become more apt to get clients. So that's in the works. Um, I haven't worked on my book in a lot in a couple of uh, in a while, so I'd like to get some of that done uh, today, and um, you know go through this process with the uh, the ESL thing. Uh, so lots of stuff going on, but not within my time frame, <laughs> and you know I'm gonna have to to deal with that. As you can see, it's overcast, it's raining. Um, so I've released my shift for, um, for the evening uh, at the restaurant. I was, I'm supposed to go in, um, but I don't, I don't wanna drive an hour in the rain just to show up to work sopping wet. And Katie doesn't have her, her car today, so I can't um, depend on her for a job, which is fine. Um, you know, I, <laughs> much rather get uh, my own stuff done anyway. But I've released that shift and hopefully someone picks it up. <clears throat> Otherwise, I'm gonna be calling in. Um, and it's supposed to storm like later on. So yeah, that's it's not safe and I don't wanna do it. So there is that. Anyway, I've rambled on enough. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, again, make sure to like, comment and subscribe, hit that bell. Um, let me know, uh, how are things going in, in your life? What, um, what, what good things, what positive things are happening? Um, what are you doing to, to make those good things happening? And how do you handle patience? <laughs> Cause I could sure use some, um, some comments, some feedback on that. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.